Okay, something else I just realised, guys. Um, if I um, I'm recording this with Fraps, and um, if it can record game sound, and and also record from my mic too, and if I do that, you can't hear what I'm saying for shit. Um, then I could do the tutorial with no commentary, but from personal experience, I I don't like. Walkthroughs and tutorials with no commentary. I, I prefer them with commentary, but uh, I'm going to stick with the commentary in it. So I, I was thinking, oh, I need to find a way how to um, have the game sound and still have me being able to do commentary. So I took the uh, Win Seven sound recording thing off, uh, which means it records the game sound, and uh, just left the microphone on. And as you can tell. It's pretty crappy, but it's better than nothing. I mean, the game sounds are alright, and you can still hear me pretty clearly. So yeah, I'm just going to get on with the tutorial. If you don't like it, you know, just go watch another one. I'm sure there's thousands more out there. <laughs> or don't watch this one, you know. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know if... Oh, no. <laughs> As I said, I am um, when I played this for the first time, doing the video tutorial, I uh, I left that on for ages, and then only realised it was the actual radio on my pit boy. A bit after, anyway, whatever. Um, there's a really long commentary just here, and uh, I'm gonna skip the boring parts. Sorry guys, but I've been through it about twenty thousand times now. Um, it, it shouldn't take that long. A strange feeling of pacifism comes over you, and you find you cannot draw your weapon for some reason. Yeah, I wonder why. It's because they don't want you to kill these things here. Oh, um, they've kind of made it a bit weird. Like, if I try and run on there, I'll automatically spawn over there. Like, I'll show you what I mean. Yep, there we go. I thought oh. I heard the pacification fields kick in. Alright, nobody move. I'll handle this. Be warned, intruder. You are in the presence of a mighty think tank of Big Mountain. The collective geniuses of we. Bright Oppenheimer, which one of you self-professed geniuses has been adjusting my volume knob? Who was it? Was it you, Wait? Oh, Doctor O, was it? Likely story. O couldn't spark two neurons if they were in a lattice of biomed gel. What? Me? Breaking news, Klein. It wasn't me, all right? I'm the robotical engineer. A to sound waves. That's his specialty. You always do this. You always meet me in front of guests. And it's not O, all right? It's... Enough! Either of you do it again, it'll be the last time. Now... Great. Oh, I forgot what I was saying. What was I talking about? Okay, so if I press this, it skips a lot of the useless commentary which uh, answers these questions, but they're, it's all shit really, so... That response seemed demanding, as if cutting to the case. The uh, chase. How surgical. Reminds me of... Dr. Klein! A transmission from the Forbidden Zone! Calling right at us! It can only be... If it is isn't my own colleague, the mighty think tank of the big mountain, big fools. Oh, it is I, Dr. Mobius, transmitting from my dome shaped dome in the forbidden zone, a zone that is here forbidden to you. Even now, my deadly robot scorpions swarm across the big mountain with their pincers and There's no way we can reach the Forbidden Zone. There's those robots 
scorpions everywhere. The forbidden zone, where no brain has ever entered, nor ever returned. Except Dr. Mobius, and the technologies that can save us, they are out of our reach. And Dr. Mobius mocks us. Did you see his crash monitor? He's clearly let himself go. Raj, ask for lobotomy for help. Hey, I think you need the fluid levels in your logic assist pods checked. If this lobotomite responded, Dr. Klein, then it is clearly intelligent. Perhaps even displays heretofore unknown levels of helpfulness. But what of its brain? We scooped that out. We don't even know where we left it. And for putting it back in, none of us have the knowledge. Yes, but it's still aware and responsive. Look at it. It's regarding us even now, with its big teddy bear eyes. If we ask it politely, and leave the part about the unnecessary, ruthless lobotomizing out, it might be favorably disposed to us. We removed your brain, yes. So soft, barely wrinkled, yet so flush with knowledge and experience. Brain extraction technology has been standard practice at Big Mountain for an immeasurable amount of time. Once the brain was out, then came the coils, the Tesla coils, the coils of Nikola Tesla. Yeah, brainless Parker, basically your head can't be crippled and you're more resistant to chems. Yay, no need to brag. Wherever your brain is, it's transmitting thoughts to you through the, what, the, um, the Tesla coils in its head! This is fortunate in many respects. If your brain was anywhere in the dome, why you could access your aggression centers? Circumventing the pacification field, this is a no-no. We have never been in a fight. We do not want that. Reminds me of my days in American High. And Richie Marcus. Darla, was it necessary this time? I assume full responsibility. Although in truth, the Autodog had done most of the work already. Quite industrious, almost cut into all my investigations. Once it had removed the brain and I misplaced it, other organs began to cry for direction, using your nerves as telegraph wires. Rather than let them send their signals, I removed them as well. Shh, little organs. Go to sleep in your tanks. Dala loves you. First, was the heart. Yeah, uh, can't be poisoned. Uh, cams function at high level. Oh wait, I mean, second was the heart, brain was first, third was the spine. Um, body can't be crippled, one added to strength and damage threshold. Spine, totally overrated, that arrangement of vertebrae. Look at me, with my lumbar and thoracic curvature. Never had a use for any of that. Spineless is what I prefer. Okay. To be correct, you should say, the auto dock took out your brain. It did all the heavy lifting. It has never worked so hard before. It was unusual. It worked so hard on your surgery. It destroyed his own memory. How odd. I bet your brain remembers what happened. That auto dock junk heap was one of Mobius's creations, like the rest of the talking scrap metal in the attic. After that, the brain lost itself. Not in the metaphysical sense. Might have gotten flushed into one of the pipes. Actually, that's pretty likely. If so, it was flushed all the way to Mobius. Whoosh! That is the sound of flushing. 
Why, the Fisher of Rolando! Enough of this biological surgery talk! Oh, Bottomite, listen to my voice. It denominates me to ask, but we need your help. In most probable of probabilities, our enemy, Mobius, has your brain. This is not good. He will most likely come after our brains next. We want you to stop him, somehow, with science.